Silva and I had the same fan club. I knew enough and he knew too much. We'd both become targets. Pazos' ID card. It was no great surprise he'd made their hit list, but to discover he was really Colombian? No wonder some locals seemed to laugh at his accent. What else had he lied to me about? I knew this thing was bigger than me, bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees, a bad caricature of a better man. Buffet. That deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. De Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution.
as hell on earth. De Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too far now. When you find yourself in hell, dance with the devil. There it was, the soundtrack to my life. And, for a few seconds, came harmony. Finally. It's easy for you. Listen, I know people. They will kill you. I can help you. Trust me. Please, please. What have you been doing? I have a lot of money. Look, look. Lots of money. I do important research. Please. Caralho! <laughs> Caralho! Espera, espera. Eu posso explicar tudo. Tudinho! Não, não. Por favor. Pelo amor de Deus. Por favor, não me mata. Não, não. Pelo amor de Deus! E aí, Totó? For all Serrano owed me, he'd paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Even I could guess what Demolisal meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. something I wasn't seeing. arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. bastards were going, they wouldn't need medication. Either Victor Bronco and Nevis were doing a lot of charity work together, or this was payment for something else. Were the crush of Prado in Victor's pocket? Had he tipped them off about the stadium exchange? I had to 
hurry up before more of those assholes showed up. seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then through the form, more of the rats came out of their holes. <laughs> 